Yeah, so um, no surprise that it has been hot uh, over this last month. I mean, we've had so many triple digit days and we're getting ready to challenge some more heat records, not daily records, but take a look at this. So we've already tied um, the most or tied the most triple digit days in one month. But now we could be breaking a record annually. We've already seen 18 days in 2022 so far where we've hit the triple digits. The record right now sits at 21 days, which was set back in 94, 1960 and 2021. So three more days and we're going to tie that record uh, for that annual record. And if we hit four more triple digit days, then we're going to be breaking that record. So that's pretty big. And you know, it's been hot. We've had a lot of days where we've reached 100 degrees. And today we're forecasting another one of those days. Here's a live look at Provo from the BYU cam. Blue sky, sunshine, and we're already in the low 90s in Salt Lake City. It feels like the upper 80s right now. Now, a breeze coming from the southeast about nine miles per hour, mid 80s in Park City, upper 70s in Evanston, 90 in Twilla, 85 in St. George, with some rain showers that are already starting to develop. So we're seeing those kind of that border between Summit, Duchesne County, up and along the higher terrain where we have some thunderstorms developing. They're bringing some lightning. And then also just east of Beaver, we have an isolated storm that's developed up in the mountains right now. And that's going to be the name of the game today, mainly in southern and eastern Utah. Big high pressure, though, is in place right over the Great Basin. And so we're continuing to pull in that monsoonal moisture from the south. And so there is plenty of moisture that's in place through southern, eastern, southwestern Utah areas like St. George. And that's why there is the chance for thunderstorms all across the Beehive State, but a better chance throughout southern Utah this afternoon. Today in Salt Lake City, we could get an isolated storm developing, but a better chance for it to bring some of those gusty micro bursts winds, but we could get some rain out of it. It's not very likely. 100 degrees forecasted today in Salt Lake City. Another hot one, folks. 87 in Park City, 98 in St. George, upper 80s in Moab. And in St. George, take a look at the next couple days. We've got that chance for thunderstorms again tomorrow and even this upcoming week in those afternoon storms that blossom up, but a bit cooler early next week as we drop down to the mid 90s. In northern Utah, take a look at this. We'll stay warm tomorrow. We've got dry air that starts pushing in a chance for some of those isolated storms tomorrow afternoon. This weekend, we stay dry, upper 90 Saturday, 101 on Sunday. But early next week, we've got good news by Tuesday. We've got the chance for more widespread showers, and you can see early next week our outlook is showing that it is going to look a little bit wetter than normal, really stretching from Salt Lake County southward. So that's good news Tuesday and Wednesday, a bit cooler in the mid-90s, and the 90s look better than the triple digits max. So.